Hi, Ann Shepard here from TappingEmotionalFreedom.com uh, talking about uh, using emotional freedom techniques, uh, EFT tapping for anxiety and specifically what the heck do you do about it? Um, just being anxious and having something that stops you from doing little things like uh, speaking up when somebody doesn't wait their turn in line or pointing out to the barista at Starbucks that they put the full fat milk in and you wanted low fat getting nervous all the way up to you know you freeze you literally freeze and have panic attacks at the notion of, of getting on an airplane the whole range the whole gamut <clears throat> and maybe you you feel like you've tried everything and you know there's every book and there's every therapy and all that kind of stuff and you might have tapped away some of the defensive stuff, some of the uh, despair stuff. I don't know where to start or the defensive. I don't care if if Jennifer wants me to change. I'm not. I don't care if my husband's irritated with me. I can't. That stuff may have been diffused. You may have uh, had time. Or maybe it hasn't and you just want to get on with it. You've had enough too. But you don't know where to start. <sighs> but you decide you're making a choice a choice to start changing and at least start entertaining options a choice to start hearing the options that people present to you maybe it's uh, somebody wants to take go for a walk with you and you've refused in the past maybe somebody um, has said hey try this supplement uh, maybe somebody has said hey I know this great meditation technique that just you haven't even heard that option because it's so low down on your priority scale but maybe you're choosing that it's time to to try and this is the great choices technique um, that might open the door and be the thin edge of the wedge for things to start moving. Maybe something like, uh, <clears throat> even though I'm so anxious and I just can't do that presentation at work, I know it's time to start getting over it because I'm, I'm limiting my career and I know it's time to do it and, and I'm choosing now to talk to my boss about maybe trying to do private presentations one-on-one -on -one at first. I'm choosing to start talking about it with people even though I really feel like I've tried everything and maybe I haven't. Maybe I'm cho uh, I've missed out on another technique for meditation that might help me. I choose to be open to hearing about new options and becoming aware of things that might help me. Even though I really I'm tired of being anxious and I don't think it's going to change. I, I'm, I'm choosing, I choose to keep trying. I choose to give it a whirl and see what might be coming up. Even though I may not be ready to change yet, I choose to let the possibility happen soon. I'm choosing to accept the help of friends or at least try. I choose to go for that walk with Mike. I choose to try that yoga class. I choose to try that free meditation teleseminar that I saw advertised. I choose to be open to the possibility of getting over my anxiety. I choose to be ready to change. Sometime soon, it might not be yet, but I choose to be open to the possibility that I can change, change sometime soon. It's the thin edge of the wedge. It's just an opportunity. It's not a flat out refusal by saying, I am fabulous, I am over it, and not really believing it and having pushed back on a fundamental flinch level. It's just opening up the door to the possibility of change. And even that might have caused you anxiety in the past, and maybe by the time you've done tapping on choices and articulating however is best to articulate for yourself, you might notice that that doesn't cause you any anxiety anymore or very little at least and that is a great change take care and keep tapping